Yo, I can't believe I'm still staying up for this. But I want to recap everything. So I'm going to do my best to recap everything. All right, this one's with Jims and Sirius Jones. This one I slept on. I'll keep it real with you. No, I mean, before I watched it. I'll keep it real with you. I was never really a fan of Jims, man. I've seen a few of his battles um, before his Cortez battle. I seen him versus Rich Dollars, man. I thought he was whack. I'm going to be real with you. I, I just, I was just never impressed by Jims. When he battled Cortez, this one started to um, see. I think he got round one and two, actually. I started to see um, like the potential because I was like, okay, this guy's lyrically getting better and his personality is definitely helping. This battle was fire. I, I ain't going to hold you. This battle was fire. I didn't expect it to be this crazy. This was a really good battle. And I'm I'm probably going to be the only person with this opinion. And I'll explain why. I think each round was close, personally. The third round may not have been as close, but I think each round was pretty cl close. Actually, the first round wasn't that close either. Let me get into it. First round with Sirius Jones, he start. Uh, no, Jim started, right? Jim's, his personality, I think, carried him through that round. He was joking, you know, making Sirius Jones look whack. Um, he had some pretty good bars. The room was rocking with him. And, you know, pretty much he was styling on Sirius Jones round one, right? And then Sirius Jones round came. And I'm going to tell you, so far, I've seen four of the battles. This was the best round that I've seen so far in the whole event. Sirius Jones, let me talk about him for a second. Because it's funny. I was sleeping on Sirius Jones ever since the Clips battle. I just thought he was whack coming back, right? But Sirius Jones is, aside from Lux, he's the only legend that actually did well in that Summer Madness 2 stage. Even if you weren't a big fan, he arguably beat Clips. His first round was a rebuttal to everything Clips said. And his third round was more polished than Clips. So he arguably beat Clips that day. You understand? And then skipping some of the uh, ugh, battles that he took in between... We go to the DNA battle. He wasn't that great in that battle to me either. But that second round was fire when he battled DNA. He had a great second round. When I've also, this first round reminded me of that DNA second round. And remind me of the throw away rounds he had for math. Like he put out the rounds for that Summer Madness 3 battle. And actually, I personally thought, and I'm a fan of Math Hoffa. But I thought that. If Sirius Jones spit those rounds to math and delivered it well, he would have won. Because Sirius Jones, he comes, the way he raps is similar, actually, to Lux and Solomon. They come from an era where they use their words effectively. You get me? It's not a bunch of wordplay about how I'm going to kill you. You get me? It's, it's actually a lot of wordplay with packed with substance. He was rapping like daylight round one. And that's the type of rapping I really like because you're talking to your opponent using your lyricism. So to me, he cooked, man. If, if I didn't know, because I, I listen to other people's recaps, if I didn't listen to other people's recaps, I would have thought he was going to 3-0 gems off of that first round. Second round comes in, Jim's comes back heavy. Not as crazy as Sirius' first round, at least lyrically, but his performance to me damn near matched Sirius Jones' first round. And his lyricism was close. Now, Sirius Jones is a better lyricist to me than Jim's, but the bars that Jim's was spitting, he had a uh, Boy Meets World. If you didn't watch Boy Meets World growing up, you wouldn't catch that. But something about um, next door, principal, something like that he spit that I'm sure went over niggas' heads. When you watch it, remember Boy Meets World, man. Jim's had a cold scheme, Boy Meets World scheme. And outside of that, he had a bunch of other crazy bars. You feel me? Um, that round was very polished. It was a very good round. Jones comes back round two. He has 
um, a couple mic problems and stuff like that. I, f I don't take that. I'm not going to take the little stumbles away from them because it was because of the mic, I personally feel, in the crowd. Aside from those, I think his second round was pretty clean. He had a lot of good bars, so really, really good bars. I think his lyricism was sorted to the level of the first round, but not as powerful. You know what I'm saying? He didn't really weave in and out of scheme like the first round. So that second round was crazy to me, too. It wasn't like super crazy, but it was good. It was really good. Jim's outperformed him. Lyrically, it, it might have been pretty even lyrically if you really break down the bars. But Jim's also had jokes. He had performance. He had personality. He had a little more. So I think he might have edged it. It could be debatable because once it comes out on camera and you're really listening, you might give it to him. Now, J um, Jones got a lot of haters. So I'm hoping that people don't watch it with a bias like, oh, man, Jones is whack. His, I don't like his delivery. I don't like his stage presence. Focus on what this nigga's saying. Round three comes. And Jim's comes with some personals. I don't feel he did it as well as I would like. But it seemed like it was effective. You get me? I felt like there was parts of his third I liked, parts of his third I didn't really like so much. And I felt like there was a few dry spots. But in the same vein... Jones had some dry spots in his third. Um, to me, that third w could be debatable. Jim's might have got that because he did take a personal route while Jones was spinning a lot of bars. And if you sit down and actually break down the bars, you may give it to Jones off the strength of that. But you'd have to see. You know what I'm saying? I think Jim's got the second. Jones got the first. And you could debate the third round because... Jones did have a lot of good bars in that third round. Um, but Jim's also had some good bars as well. But he also took a personal route. So, me, I usually, you know, I'm a guy who's going to like to pick a winner. So, um, man, I, I, I got to watch it again. I, I'm actually a little, because I don't want to pick Jim's because I hear other people saying Jim's 2-1. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm going to pick gems because that's what people have been saying. But performance-wise, yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you're in the building, you would have said gems 2-1. But then again, the third round, um, Jones had another mic issue and niggas wasn't really fucking with him like that. They sort of were at times and sort of weren't. So I feel like you really got to sit down and break down his bars to fully know. For now, I'm going to say gems 2-1 by an edge but I gotta see that I gotta really break down the third from both of them to see if Jones actually edged that one out but yeah man another good one shout out to both of them they both came to play like this was a battle I was sleeping on I didn't really care for it for the battle when I saw it this is definitely gonna get Jim some good looks cause Jim's has been blogging it's his biggest battle uh, I would say it's his biggest battle he, he's battled a legend and he shows up, performs really well, and he's very, he's getting more and more lyrical. And it's reminding people of um, how much of a leg legend Jones is, because nigga came back, his lyrics were on point. All right. Um, I would actually like to see um, Jones battle Iron Solomon. If Jones could come with the bars for Iron Solomon, I think that'd be a good battle. And... As far as gems, um, I'm not really sure. I actually would have wanted to see gems about Adi Boom if Adi Boom wasn't locked up, to keep it real with you. Because uh, I felt like it would just be a fun personality battle. But um, um, for gems, I'm not sure, man. Gems probably should battle like a, a big cannon just to test his pen and his lyricism. And just to see if he can match, you know. A guy like Big Can. I think that could be his next move or whatever. Um, but yeah, signing out. Peace.